Uh, okay, I'm gonna be doing a product uh, a product map review, demo review, not demo, <laughs> what am I talking about? Uh, map talk, doing a product map talk pre-recording. I'm gonna be talking about all the individual classes uh, and their roles and what they need to be doing at different stages of the game, as well as like certain things like uh, charges and strategies. Okay, uh, so firstly, we're gonna be talking about Scout. Scout largely will spend a lot of his time on uh, Gratis. So he should be trying to sit here and deny, deny connector. And also maybe he should be spamming with and like picks on the project necessary. But most of the time he's trying to stop their flank. Their flank will also be holding up the connector. So these are where he largely wants to be staying. Um, in terms of his roles, what we're probably going to be having him do, having him uh, taking him in the maneuver with the demo to clean up frags because like when we're pushing in it's really important to have not just the demo in but someone else there to, to clean up the frags and to do damage uh yeah so that's generally what scout wants to be doing but there's a oh, put it in your own discretion but you can you can do whatever you want you can go go for be super aggressive and look for picks uh if you can get that flank that's really good because then you can go behind them and like flank them Soldier's role is very similar, as he is also on the flank of the scout. Largely, what the soldier's, the soldier's role is, is to stand up here, basically. To deny the point, to deny, uh, deny tanks by like this. Uh, okay, cool, that's just a bit. Uh, yeah, so pretty much your job is to stand here and kill people if they try, if they try and cross connector. Uh, one of your other primary roles is to jump and the, uh, and obviously like the scout, if their flank is dead, you can try and get behind them like this and try and spam for damage. Because like uh, this map is really, really uh, spam heavy, so if you can get off the high places and spam them behind the point, or if they're behind the point, 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 they're behind the point,
Uh, and also, and then another job, another one of your roles, is when they Uber, you pretty much look to deny them up to the point where the Uber's not going to do anything and you want to try and get out. Uh, yeah. Par par yeah, it, this is a, I find Paris a hard job because Spy has so many different ways and you've got to watch all of them at once. Um, yeah, be careful of house. This is a, this is a normal deflex spot. That's a good deflex spot. Uh, that's a good deflex spot. You need to be really careful with Spy's in this map. And then this is a good deflex spot. So largely you want to be um, sitting here watching backwards uh, unless you're expecting a bomber, like on, for example, on uh, first. Most likely, a soldier is instantly going to be looking to jump the combo straight away uh, as soon as the round starts. And that's what I'm going to be asking one of our soldiers, to, our soldiers to do as well. So that's one of his roles into the beginning of the game. We'll talk about that later in the rollouts. Uh, yeah, so that's generally where you want to holding. So if we're doing a rock hold, you want to be holding about here ish and like looking forward and also looking back. Uh, we might be doing a cliff hold, in which case, again, you want to sit on the dispenser, maybe a little bit forward, and then you've got to be careful as well as dropping down the cliff from above you there. Uh, yeah, I think that's basically it for Pyro. I mean, if the spy's dead, even if the spy's dead, you kind of want to stay in the combo, unless the spy and soldier are dead, in which case, you can go help the flank over here, and then that means their soldier's going to be invalidated, so that means you can push on and put some lots of pressure onto their combo, which should be really useful. You need to be careful that uh, both the soldier and the spy are dead, so that there's like no way that your medics can like die or anything. Uh, so the next person to talk about is heavy, heavy positioning. Largely, the heavy just sits here and shoots shit. Like, he, yeah, I, I can't, I do, yeah, he can't shoot for this, I'm pretty sure. But yeah, he wants to sit here and just shoot everything for the little bit there if you need him ammo. Uh, the heavy's role again is basically the same as Pyro's on this map because heavy can heavy is going to be able to spy check just as efficiently as Pyro just by turning around and spamming the spamming the common deflex spots. Uh, and also he's even better at denying bombers because he'll hopefully see the bombers coming from up high and if he just mows them down as they come, they'll deny the bomb instantly. Uh, then obviously he's also uh, a key member of the push to try and just push forward and to be a damage sponge. So that. Yeah, I mean, Heavy's role is pretty one-dimensional on this map. Another thing, if we're doing a clutch hold, he largely wants to hold up top, above, above the, the medic will either be sitting down there on the dispenser or will be up here. Uh, he wants to be standing up here to try and uh, just try and see everything, deny stuff. Like, he needs to be careful of snipers, snipers from grass, uh, snipers from Japan. Um, yeah, I think that's it for the demo. Uh, now we're on to NG, which is a bit more complicated, so I've got to talk about um, building positionings. So largely, one of the, the best heli spots is up here in Japan. What you can do is, if, if you're on your rollout, you can build a dispenser, hop onto it, and then you can jump off onto Japan here, and build a teleporter. Uh, this is a really useful teleporter, it's, it's, it's harder and less common for the spy to get it. Uh, other good, other good heli spots are... Uh, But that, that's a very useful telly spot. But I would recommend doing the one in Japan, over here, because that, that's just, that is the best telly spot. And it also means our sniper can snipe from Japan if he takes it, which is really useful, because he can, yeah, he can snipe from over here. And, uh, yeah, I'll talk about sniping spots later. Uh, yeah, so in terms of the dispenser, he wants the dispenser here or there, depending on where we're holding. So you either want ammo here, or if we're doing a cliff hold, we're gonna do, Want to have ammo over here, so we want to have a the defense like up nearly all the time because the pyro and the heavy literally like want to be spy checking 24 7. So we want to have the dispenser up as well for as long as possible and for as, like, yeah, for as much time as possible. However, the dispenser will go down very easily because, like I said, this is a very spam heavy map. The demo will be spamming us, the soldier will be spamming us constantly, so it's quite likely that the dispenser will die, which is a shame, but it's fine, it's to be expected. Um, Next is demo. Demo largely is is, is like it's a spam map. Like you want to fuck them, you want to destroy them with stickies. Your job your job is basically not not to die and to put up like, constant damage. I'm not particular. Again, just pushing forward. There's not too much to say about demo uh, positioning, other than uh, I don't know too much about demo, so it's not sure it'll be fine without me. Uh, so yes, I don't really know much about demo. Uh, medic again, largely just wants to hold where the combo is. So the medic will be sat back here, 
uh, healing everyone that's coming. And then, uh, again, largely if the bomb wants to come, she wants to jump, try and surf the bomb that way, or that way. Um, so yeah, largely she wants to be healing the heavy and the demo on this point. If the parry is low, give them a drop of an arrow. That's basically what you want to be doing. Prioritize, uh, yeah, demo, like demo heavy. Uh, and giving anyone else buffs and arrows, so the soldier will probably want arrows and stuff like that. Uh, but yeah, you, you want to be hanging back here, being careful. When a push is called, you want to just walk forward with the demo and the heavy, uh, not even demo, demo scout, or whoever we're taking in, and just try and split the Uber between as few people as possible, because otherwise everyone's going to gonna die. Uh, but yeah, so largely you want to be doing that. There's not too much to say, you've got to be careful of bombers, you've got to be careful of spies in the spots I've talked about. And you'd be giving areas to people while trying to build Uber. It'd be really useful if you can uh, count Ubers. Uh, Snake, I don't know how good you are at counting Ubers. But you need to be trying to keep track of what the med enemy medics percentage should be and what our percentage will be. So, um, in, in comparison to that, so how much advantage we have. I'll be trying to help you by calling um, by calling the enemy medic percentage uh, every now and again so we'd know what percentage we have. But, like, largely, uh, it's going to be your responsibility. Uh, so that, that's kind of it for Medic. Just don't die. <laughs> if you don't die and you keep going, you should be fine. Uh, yeah, so next we're going to talk about this Sniper. Uh, the sniper's got a few really good positions to hold in this map. So the obvious the obvious sniping position is China, because China gives a great, great vantage point. A uh, secondary position you can use is Cliff. Cliff also gives really, really solid. Uh, one thing that's a really underrated sniping spot is uh, is this spot right here, because you can, no, literally nobody can see you from this spot, and it gives you good, like it gives you quite a good vantage point. So, as in you can see like half the point from here, and you can also, but and like yeah, it's, th this is a really good sniping spot. They'll they'll hardly ever be able, to, the enemy sniper won't be able to pick you, and if he's sniping from Japan, which is here. Uh, yeah, and then also if the engineer builds a teleporter, you can also snipe from Japan, which is really, really good. I don't know, can you hop on this? Oh, you can hop on this. Oh, that's really good then. So you can snipe from here. Um, you don't really... Sniping from the flank is okay. It's not... If you if the enemy sniper's cliff, you can come here and try and peek him from the stairs. Uh, other than that, like, uh, playing with the combo. So, um, that, that's talking about Sniper playing uh, on his own, but at some point, if the Spy, for example, is killing him over and over again, uh, we get, you're going to be want to be playing with the combo. So, basically, wherever we're holding, like here or here, uh, you want to be just basically with us, trying to try and look for picks, trying to get your job done. So, like, yeah, again, largely just looking for picks and shit. Uh, I think that's it for specific classes. Um, so, I mean, yeah, so... I've talked about our holding spots, so we're going to be holding here and here. Um, and then what the next thing I wanted to talk about is uh, picks and how they affect uh, what's happening. So depending on which classes we pick, that enables us to do different things. So for example, if we pick their, their soldier, our scouts can easily come through their flank, get behind them, uh, and we'll be on the enemy scout with the soldier, and make just cause it like a bit, be a bigger, big nuisance basically, to their flank. Uh, yeah, if the the, sol the soldier can pretty much lock down connector on his own. So if the scout's pick is not of a too big an issue, but it does like mean we've got the advantage on the flank. So if we are coming here to try and fight them, it can go it can go well. I mean, if you can push down the flank, that could be really good. Uh, if we get like a demo pick, then they're largely missing a huge amount of damage. We should be able to walk forward and be able to kill them in in, uh, unless they've got like a sniper watching, and we lose picks for that. But it should be fine. Uh, demo pick's very, very big on this map because, like, this is a spam map. Like, constantly they're going to be spamming us. They're constantly going to be uh, spamming from all different positions. And without that spam, they lose a lot of their damage on on us, which is really good. Uh, yeah, heavy means that we can bomb them pretty much for free because the pyro likely won't be watching. So you can bomb bomb really, really easily. Uh, with the lose the heavy, and it also means it leaves a lot of damage from the combo, that uh, which will, which will actually deny us pushing, so we can again we can just jump in and do a lot of work. Uh, yeah, sniper picks allows our sniper to get like, loads of free room and be able to get make lots of picks, and it also allows our medic to be able to move freely, trying to heal many different people without being under threat. 
So that's a very, very important pick. Spine pick literally means nothing. Uh, it means our pyro can maybe start getting going a bit aggressive. Uh, yeah, medic pick means that we'll have the heal advantage, which doesn't mean we instantly win the fight. It means generally when you've got the heal advantage, you want to play the fight uh, really slowly, which means you want to slowly start spamming them, shipping them away until they're at a very like till they're a massive health disadvantage, and then we try and look for the push. Um, because they don't, won't have the medic to heal it back up very easily. Uh, so that's why medic is such a big pick, because it means we can... It means firstly we'll have uber advantage if our medics are alive, which means we try and push push without them having to be massive. Oh, I didn't talk about mini spots. Slap it down anyway, it doesn't mention it. You basically want to build a mini. Uh, you, you either want to put it to help the combo, or want to put it to help the flank. To uh, help the flank on grass or on concrete. Uh, so that people uh, can help. A couple of useful mini spots if you put it there. If you want to be annoying, you can just like slap it around here. Any of these spots are good. Yeah. Um, so I wanted to talk about uh, the forward hold because there's a when if we if we push them off the point, you basically wipe them. What we can do is we can set up in a forward hold uh, on cliff here, which will deny them from coming right side, and we can also deny them from main. Which you basically have our demo uh, demo and heavy sitting here. Up. That'll force them to roll at right side as soon as they do. We can, we, we can look to rotate and deny them from here. And then it allows us to get quite a lot of time on the clock. But if we lose any any key picks, then we have to instantly back off and go back for a normal passive hold over here. And la largely, when you want to hold, you want to be holding quite passive, but uh, like enough to pressure them. Like, you want to be pressuring at all times. That's why this is spam, spam map because you want to be pressuring them and like causing them damage so they can't do anything uh, a lot of the time uh, so yeah and just in terms of in terms of like the team fight that we're going to be doing where our pushes our pushes of uber we, we just want to basically depending on the situation just take the the, just the the issue is the heavy is really really slow on the push so they'll, if, we, if we go in with the heavy, they'll just back up, and the heavy won't be able to do anything unless it's crits. Which, oh, I'm not talking about crits. That's not um, so the heavy is a, is a hard thing to push with. So largely, you want to push with your scout and your demo. Is my personal favorite push, is because the demo goes in, deals massive damage on the uber, and then the scout runs in and cleans up on that damage. But also another person you can take on this is the pyro. Usually, the pyro wants to be behind the combo as they push in. Because the, the, the idea is that when you push is the time when the spy is going to strike and when they're going to be looking for bombs. So he wants to hang back. Medic medic wants to go forward with the demo and the scout, or the demo and whoever's pushing with him, uh, and do the shit. And then the pyro's job is to get them out of the uber once the uber fades and they're out. This is also a really good deflect spot if they're on the cliff. Uh, what else are we going to talk about? Yeah, uh, okay, uh, next I wanted to talk about comms and calling. Uh, we have a main caller on the team, which is Snap. Snap is main calling. Then I'll, I'll also be acting as the secondary main caller. That, what that means is we listen to his calls, and his calls are more important. It also means that no one else should be calling what we should be doing, because otherwise it'll cause, like, firstly, you might not understand what's going on and what's happening with the rest of the team. And um, as well as whether well, Snap or someone in the combo could. So it's actually really important you not call because it can just clutter comms and cause like people like Snap might call, okay guys, we're gonna push from right side here and we're gonna try and go into them. And then you're like, yeah, guys, jump them on concrete. And it's like, wait, we're actually on grass here. And it's like, wait, you just like fucked up our whole team because half our team's gone, uh, gone right side and the other half's gone grass. And then it's like, oh, okay. So largely you don't wanna, and only say important information. In the, uh, you only want to be saying in very important information. Like, if, if you're dead, mention it. If you've killed anything, mention it. If you know where they're pushing from, like, or you know, a sniper position, call it. Anything else? Probably not. Like, let, leave the main calling to Snap and me. Uh, so you don't really need to be calling calls unless you think it's a really good idea and you want to like, present it. Or if you're calling for arrows as well. Other than that, like, shut up. You, like, you don't need to say anything. It's just going to be really, it's going to be really bad because it clutters the comms and then you can't actually hear the important calls. So you really want to largely be um, just be quiet and set, accept those core calls because it will actually cause a detriment to the team if you're just like constantly talking. 
for example, like Raph in the last game. And that's why everyone was so annoyed at him. Like, it's okay, he can learn from it and he'll be fine, hopefully, and he won't talk as much next time. Uh, that's good that. Okay, uh, yeah, an another thing uh, is what I want to be people to be talking about is the focus calls. So, uh, this is pro largely for either the uh, the Pyro, Ponson, or Snap. Um, because they're in the combo, so they're going to be the main damage output. So they want to be sh they want to be calling who they're shooting, who to shoot, so the whole team can focus the same target. And that that's the most efficient way, rather than splitting our damage between multiple different people, as we're confused as to who to call. This will be something to work on, and that even some high t uh, even some good teams aren't really too good at yet. But it's just just calling calling like what what you're shooting, so that everyone else knows. What you should call damage, calling damage numbers as well. What classes are taking what damage, so we can kind of have a, a general understanding of the situation of what, what's going on. Uh, they're quite important. Yeah, and then coordination. Like if something's called, either say we can't do this because etc., or follow the call. Even if you think it's like a bad call, you have to follow it because you have. Otherwise, the team will just be. It just will not work. So like even if it's a bad call, you really want to follow the call. And like trying to do stuff together. Like if we're pushing, everyone needs to be pushing. The flank needs to be pushing from the flank. We need to, we're pushing forward. They're gonna be backing up. Everyone needs to move when when we call to push, otherwise it's just it's gonna fall apart. They're gonna just defend it really easily. So we have to we have to play together and we have to do stuff. Uh the the next thing I wanted to talk about was rollouts. Um the, basically, there's a few things important. Soldier needs to be on a whip, and he needs to I, he needs to whip the. De um, he wants to give the spy a little bit of a whip because it's quite important to get to the ammo pack over there. Uh, so, and he wants to give primarily whip the heavy, and yeah, the heavy probably basically just whipping the heavy because the heavy's gonna be really slow to mid, and Gru aren't really any good anymore. Uh, so yeah, so basically you want to go run whip and whip everyone to the front. Oh, basically what you want to do is you want to whip once, jump. Wait for them to get their whip again. Jump, jump ahead of them, whip again, and then, and then you want to get into your position up here to just try and defend the point. Um, yeah, scout basically just rolls out. Uh, pretty much everyone will be rolling out main because it's the fastest. It's the uh, it's the fastest way to roll, so we should just basically all go through main. Uh, except a few people, like a sniper, might be looking for a position on cliff or a position on concrete. Uh, but for the majority, most of us will just be rolling out through main. Uh, yeah, so stuff like demo rollout, because what demos rollout's quite fast, I don't really know it, but you want to be getting out and spam onto the enemy team as soon as possible. But you need to be careful of basically sticky traps can be here, sticky traps can be here, sticky traps can be here. Uh, it'll just depend on what's happening. Uh, okay, what else can I talk about? Oh, okay, Ubers. Okay, we're la basically we want to be running uh, Uber on this map. Crits are fun as fuck. Uh, and basically, what if if you know that they're and they have like a 20% advantage or a minor advantage on us, maybe switching to crits and uh, switch crits to get you at the same time and try and drop them. With crits, the most important thing is killing the medic with the first sticky, because if they pop either, then we just. Crits. But yeah, you want to be looking for large damage on large groups of people, but primarily want to be killing the medic. Uh, yeah, so I think we probably will just run Ebro on this map because it's a lot easier and Snake is still learning, so learning when we want to be critting is, uh, is, 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 is hard, it's hard. And we don't, and like, uh, even I don't fully understand when when we want to be, uh, this is also a good soldier spot, you can just stand up here and deny if you don't want to, this is the opposite, if their flank isn't, isn't the same thing, then their combo is, then you want to be coming over here, standing from rock, you can stand on it. Uh, I think I've talked about everything. If you think I've forgotten something, just come and just ask me about it in the Discord. But other than that, I think this is everything. Um, yeah, okay, I think that's everything. Uh, thanks for listening, and I hope that was helpful. And now you understand where your class needs to be and where it needs to hold, and what your like roles are. Because if you if you're not doing your role, you could be cutting some of the team. For example, last last the uh, the bad war map, we had no flank, and that meant our sniper can't get any positioning because their flank had complete dominance, which meant he couldn't do anything. 
and again we had no pressure, no spam last time, so their their combo can easily just like can spy shake everything for free because they've got no and like they're not under pressure to do anything because they can just so they can just sit there and do whatever and it doesn't really matter. Uh yeah. Uh one thing I haven't talked about is yeah, weapon choices too much. I think largely it's preference. Uh yeah, other than min you wanna be running minis, you wanna be yeah, like we talked about Uber and crits. Uh, other than that, generally, I think you can just run whatever. I don't think it really matters. So, yeah, uh, thanks for listening, and I hope this was helpful. Okay, bye!